Tig here again. In today's video, I'm responding to a subscriber request on the channel. Silver Surf for 6894 asked me if humanizers remove the watermarks from AI generated text. One of the reasons that I appreciated this question so much is that I didn't know the answer. And I'm not afraid to say that. I was aware that there was some debate about whether there was a digital watermark with ChatGPT, and I didn't know for sure whether this was something that Turnitin could detect. I assumed that if it existed, Turnitin couldn't detect it. As I've seen lots of examples of writing, I quickly knocked up with ChatGPT getting AI scores in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. If ChatGPT used a digital watermark and Turnitin could detect it, surely the writing would get a 100% AI score every time. Anyway, that's the point of today's video. To answer the question, do chatbots like ChatGPT and Google Gemini add digital watermarks to their writing? And can AI detectors identify them? In the video, I'll specify which companies use watermarking, how reliable it is, and what AI tools can detect it, based on my research. I'll include a list of my sources in the description. But first, if you appreciate my little channel and the honest, transparent, and authoritative information that I provide to students and educators, please help increase its visibility by liking, sharing, and subscribing. I'd really appreciate that, and it costs you nothing. Thanks in advance for your support. So your first question might be, what is a digital watermark in AI writing? A digital watermark in AI-generated text is an invisible pattern embedded during text creation. It's designed to be undetectable to humans, but can be picked up by certain software. The purpose of a watermark is to identify whether a piece of writing was created by an AI chatbot. It works by embedding patterns in the text, tweaking word choices and sentence structures. This creates a statistical signature unique to the AI tool. The organization that embeds the watermark like Google or OpenAI, hold the key that is needed to detect it. That means if you want to verify a watermark, you usually need access to that key or a detection API provided by that organization. From the information available online and in academic journals, it appears that some watermarking methods are strong enough to survive humanizers that paraphrase AI text or swap words for synonyms. This depends, though, on replacement word choices. A watermarked piece of AI writing looks completely normal to a human reader. There are no visible marks, odd phrases, or formatting clues that will obviously give it away. Watermarks are designed to be invisible and don't affect the quality or coherence of the text. Watermarked AI text is created through a variety of ways that result in the same thing, a statistical pattern in the sequence of words in AI-generated text. Three approaches that I identified in the sources that I read are the green list, red list approach. With this, for each word generated, the chatbot favors words from a green list and avoids those on a red list, thereby creating a statistical signature in the word choices while the sentences remain natural and fluent. The second approach is called token selection bias, where during text generation, a chatbot subtly adjusts the probability of selecting certain words or phrases over others, based on a hidden pattern known only to the watermarking algorithm. The third approach just adds a statistical pattern in the sequence of words or tokens. For example, the frequency and combination of certain words are slightly different than what a human would typically write, but not in a way that's obvious or identifiable without a key or detection API. Okay, fine. Watermarks are a particular statistical pattern of the words used in the text. But can I just get rid of a watermark by using a humanizer? Various online tools claim that they can remove watermarks from AI text, making it harder or impossible for the watermark's signature to be detected. Among these are humanizers that I've tested on the channel, like Undetectable AI, Humbot, and Netus. Research agrees that it is possible to remove watermarks from AI text, though it is difficult. This MIT Technology Review article describes research where the authors had an approximately 80% success rate in spoofing or faking the existence of watermarks 
and an 85% success rate in removing the watermark from AI-generated text. Next question, which AI companies use watermarking? Let's look at the latest info on all major AI chatbots and their approach to watermarking. Google Gemini. Yes, they use a tool called SynthID to watermark all AI content. Google have made SynthID detection open source so anyone can use it. OpenAI's ChatGPT. There is some debate about this online, but the latest update is that the answer is likely no. ChatGPT does not watermark text. Apparently, they have developed a watermarking system, but have chosen not to implement it for fear of losing users. Anthropic's Claude 4, the most recent version, does not seem to use watermarking. There is no information about watermarking in official documentation and user reports or reviews. What about Meta's Llama? Apparently, they have added a watermark for images and videos called Stable Signature since 2023. The key for this can be obtained through GitHub. But Meta do not add a watermark to AI-generated text. There's no mention in Meta's official Llama 4 documentation or technical blogs of any watermarking system for text outputs, and recent materials confirm that Meta's Llama models do not currently implement such watermarking for text generation. So what does that mean for students who are planning to use AI chatbots for some or all of their academic work. It means Google Gemini is probably not your best bet. Any AI detector that uses the synth ID key will be able to identify materials generated by Google Gemini. Though at the time of this video, no commercially available AI detector uses the synth ID key, that may change in the future. However, as was reported in this video, watermarks can be tampered with. They can be spoofed or faked and they can be removed. They're not perfect. You could try your luck with humanizers or manually rewriting part of the text yourself or even just writing an essay or assignment yourself if you're worried about watermarks. I've added my name to the synth ID detector waitlist and I look forward to testing this in the future and of course seeing if it's possible to evade. But that's for another time. It seems inevitable that watermarking and detection technology will keep improving, meaning that this is another front in the cat and mouse game between AI detection and AI concealment. If you found this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe for more. If you have a question or a request for a video, please ask or suggest it in the comments. Thank you for your time and attention, and I'll see you in the next video.